It's a bird. It's a plane. It's Super One. Are you wearing your Super One cape? Yes. <laughs> When we first met our fearless hero, 10-year-old Juan Bravo was just beginning a groundbreaking new FDA-approved therapy to fight an aggressive form of leukemia. Cancer picked the wrong superhero. Well, there's an incredible update to this story. Juan has no detectable cancer after the treatment. So here's the cells. Juan's T-cells were modified at a laboratory, engineered to fight cancer with chimeric antigen receptors, CAR for short. A few weeks later, it was time for Juan to become the first child to receive CAR T-cell therapy here in Charlotte. You ready for your super cells? His parents, Andrea and Jose, were right by his side at Atrium Health Levine Children's in Charlotte. A world-class pediatric infusion team helped Juan get prepared for the process. It started with the hydration phase to ensure Juan's body was ready for the treatment to begin. Are you going to get your superpowers? Yeah, my super cells. Your super cells are on the way. Trillions of them, right? Yeah. How cool is that? Then, this final high five from awesome. Dr. Jeffrey Hua, who specializes in pediatric cellular therapies. The modified T cells arrived at the infusion unit, carefully protected within a deep cold storage tank. Plug in right there. Mm -hmm. The timing to thaw the T cells needed to be precise. Soon, the infusion was underway. That's it, Juan. <laughs> <laughs> now Juan needed to rest. His own immune cells began to attack the cancer that had spread throughout his body. As expected, Juan's temperature spiked four days later. He was admitted to Levine Children's Hospital so he could be closely monitored. And it was really hard seeing him like that. The modified T cells were doing their job. The power of CAR T cells also comes with a lot of potential side effects. Patients can get very, very sick as the CAR T cells roar to life to fight the deep set cancer. Juan stabilized after a few rough days. One month later, Dr. Hua called Juan's parents with results from the first new cancer screening. He says, good news, good news, uh, Juan, Juan's spinal fluid is clean. We don't have any leukemia in his spine. We were so happy. We like, were so happy. We, we couldn't believe it. Like, in the, in the first time, he's clean. They hugged, they cried, they told Juan. His first reaction? Oh, so on leukemia free? Excitingly, on the back end, the CAR T cells were able to eliminate the leukemia from everywhere that we could detect within his body. Do you truly feel like Super Juan now? Yeah. Both the family and Dr. Hua remain cautiously optimistic that Juan's body will continue to respond well. Every kid is unique. There's no guarantees in medicine, but some patients who have received this CAR T cell therapy have gone months, even years, without the leukemia coming back. We don't know what to expect for Juan. We will continue to watch him very carefully. We'll continue to do the best we can, but even getting this far already is a major victory. We're really thankful for everything, you know. Juan is thankful too and flying high, because that's what heroes do. The, there are many other kids who are in their journeys as well, and we together with our friends across the state, across the region, across the world, will continue to work to give the children who come to Levine Children's the best of whatever they need. Can you believe it? You're making progress. It's our privilege to serve, it's our honor to serve, and from the bottom of our hearts, from all of us here at Levine Children's, we thank everyone who's ever given to our patients, to our facility, to our people. Thank you.